Atarim is a great website collaboration tool. We did a video introducing it uh, last week and I want to show a bit more of it, mainly because some people got interested or they still were a little bit unsure. How is this going to help me if I'm in a web design agency or maybe I'm just working on my own? Let me explain. If you're working on your own and you're a freelancer, so you're in control of your destiny and you know what you're doing, Atarim is amazing for you. Here's why. Once you've logged in, and by the way, you can register for free and you can use this for free. There are premium versions. I'll show you that. And at what point do you need to start thinking about that? But I've logged into Atarim and I've gone over to websites and I now have all of these websites. I do not own all of these, all right? I have never worked on all of these, like Elementor. We've got Apple websites over here. We even got Pepsi Max. God, I'd love to work on that for them. You know, if they're watching, come and get me, not that they will. But you can start working on, well, basically collaborating on your websites, your clients' websites, and any other website that's out there. Let's go and put one in over here. I've put in the Bricks Builder URL and we're going to hit Add Site. And what this will do is it will collect it and it will add it over here. And now we can collaborate on this. And this is what is really amazing. Let's say you've got a client and they've got a website they like and they want to say, well, I like this, I like that, and I like this. What are you going to do? Get them to give you screenshots, take photographs, write it all down. They might mistake and write down the wrong bit. They might call something like, they might call this like a banner, when in fact they meant the header. They might not understand that this is the nav menu or whatever, right, the logo. They might get their wording quite wrong. What they can now do, if I go over here to this website, that I've literally just added. In fact, let me just go back over to my website screen. Let's jump back a bit. Look, there it is. It is there. I'm now going to hit collaborate. We go back in again. And I can browse the site so I can jump to any page I want down here. If I hit browse, I can hit any of these pages and it will go there. Or I can hit comment. And I can go over here. I can click, look at my mouse. You see the little mouse. I'm going to click there. And I'm going to leave a comment. I can now decide, is this going to be something that is just an open task? Maybe it needs to be in review. Maybe it needs, maybe it's already in progress. And, you know, what is the priority of it? Let's just say it's a low priority and let's hit create task. I can see that that task is now there. That is now there for me to complete and work on whenever I can and assign time to it. I could even assign a team member to it as well, but we'll come back on to that at the moment. But what if I want now to have someone else collaborate on this as well? I could literally now just put in any comments. So I could hit down here where it says share and I could now invite someone who wants to be part of this list. I mean, I'm not really opening it out to anyone to join in here, but I could go in and go, right, this is now going to be invited to that person. They will get an email. They have to register to Atarim as well. Or you could just give them a link in an email or a Facebook message or whatever. They can then come on. They can quite easily go in the over here and go, ah, you know what? Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like the green. Hopefully they'll tell us what hex code or color they want. And they might go, oh, this is critical. This is super critical. And, you know, I want this to be done now. Get it done and dusted. I could, as a client, browse go over to say the roadmap page and it will, you know, it, it allows me to interact with the page and the website. I'm now going to hit back comment and I'm going to go over to this one and say um, a, a typo, for instance, you know, and maybe put what the typo is and what you want the change to become. So let's just make this one be critical. Well, hi, for sure. And we'll say, look, this has got to be done. Get it done and dusted ASAP. We hit create task. That is now added. Now, here's what's really cool about Atarim, okay, about this website collaboration tool. On this page, there is one task. On the home page, there were two tasks. And you can see for the entire website, there are three tasks. Look, uh, this is task, uh, the third one we've added. If I click that, it's going to take me back to task two. If I click number one, it will take me to task one. So they're all marked out for us and I can click on them and I can add a comment and put what? Like that. And you will have a chain of comments. It does not just have the first comment. It will have all of them. You know, 
Um, so if like there is someone else now collaborating on here, or maybe they want to like add in a image. So let's just add in this image here as well. I don't know why I did that. It's a seven, it's an 800 kilobyte image. That was a bit of a silly thing, but look, you can add in other stuff as well to further clarify or comment or anything like that. So Atari is really, really good. Seriously, for collaborating. So as a one man band, let's say that's what you are, or a female, you could use this to collaborate. What if you are, you, you're handed over a website to a client, a client's working on it, or you want them to sign off the homepage. I have in the past had clients send me, I kid you not, I got an email that was 22 items, something like that. And that's a lot of items. Every item they give was justified and I had no issue with doing it. But it was a 22 item email list. And I had to go through and go, right, what about this? What about that? Where is it? Now you could just literally do it here and here and here, basically, in terms of collaboration. But we can go a step further. You can also download the plugin. And this now goes even deeper into your website, okay? So you've got a client website, you could just do it over here, but you could also download the plugin. So I've now downloaded the plugin to my test website. We're going to activate that. I This is the free version, not the premium. I will talk to you about the premium version in a moment. Right, so this is now basically activated. There are some settings. There will be some future videos that go through the settings in more detail. But let's just say we've now got this activated. Let's now just go over to view our website while we are logged into WordPress. Can you see down here, we have the Atarim logo just down here below me. So I now hit this plus bit here. I can now, anywhere on this website, I might go, uh, I don't like the wording. In the plugin version, you have much more features. So I can assign this to someone at the moment. It's only, well, okay, right. Let me just, let me just go back a step. We on this website invited, well, there's me and I invited someone else. Okay. So, you know, when you do the collaborate bit, when I was on that Bricks website, I said, yeah, share this to someone else. That means I can now decide, well, who gets to see this task, who gets to know about it. And I want both of us to know about it. You can mark as complete as well, but we're not going to do that. The priority for this is critical. We get colors on here, which is nice. Um, this is going to be in progress. A screenshot is now taken of that task, of what it looks like right now. We've just taken a screenshot. You didn't have to take a screenshot and add it. It's taken it for you. Um, we have some further info here. And this says that I am currently on Chrome. Um, what is my resolution for my MacBook Air? Um, there's some further info there. Uh, you also have options here to share this link to someone else as well. Maybe you just want to share it across the board, whatever. I then hit add comment. That is now going to be added to our list of things to do on this website. So you can, if you want, if your, log, if your client or you has got login credentials, so I'm just going to click this again, I can start, look, I can start to do individual components or the whole thing or the whole section or images or the shadow. Loads and loads of stuff you can do here, right? And, and this is, for me, a game changer in terms of how you start to collaborate and work on websites. Let me just close that for a moment. Now I've hit the Atarim logo. Look, we have the things down here where I can start to view it as a tablet or a mobile as well. Um, let me put it back into desktop mode. Uh, let me go back to standard view. Don't know why I did that. But anyway, you can leave a comment. You can see reports. You can even go back to your agency view. Look, so if I go over here to desktop, now do remember when we were looking at the brick site, we added in three tasks. You can see that there are three tasks. If there was any, there were tasks on these two websites, uh, but you can see a green tick there, which means all the tasks are complete. If I go over here to my boards, for instance, and I now pick a uh, bricks over here, let me just scroll a bit there. You can now see the tasks. So I can either go into the website and see them down the sidebar, or I can go over here to the boards and start looking at them. And I can go in and add a comment. I can go, what? Like that. Okay. I can say the task is complete. The task is now complete. In fact, if we just close that down now, look, it's already moved over to the completed bit. That was real time, like time, which is real, not a fantasy universe.
right? It's moved over. Now, at the moment, with the task, I can only assign it to myself. So even though on Bricks, I may have invited George, Jimmy, Michael, lots of different people, even the client, and I might have a team as well. I can only assign to myself. I can notify everyone. I can notify all the people, hey, look, there's a new task. Here's the update. Here's the progress. But what if I want to assign this task to sort out the green, because I really don't like the green, sort it out. I need to let George know. George is responsible for this. Maybe George is the only person that works on the website, or maybe it's a logo or an image needs to be redone. Whatever, okay? I can only assign to me. Now, if you want to assign to more people, you will have to upgrade. And I click billing. You get the option to now unlock more. And this is where you now have to make a decision. So depending on the number of people you have in your team, but we are currently on the free forever plan. So if I'm the only person working on the website, I could just go ahead and use the free one forever. But if your team is growing, you're scaling up, you've got other people working on the website as well. The beauty about that would mean that I could then assign to multiple people and it can make managing your project so much easier when you're sharing the workload. Now, I want to just go back over to websites because there's one little thing I did not mention. You also have the option for adding in a project. So let's say George in our team only ever works on, say, the logos and the images or compressing images and stuff like that. What I could do now is click add project. So I'm going to call this project and I'm going to call it George. Uh, or my, No, let's call it logos like that. Okay. We're going to call it logos. And at the moment I'm going to assign myself because I've got the free plan. If you've got a premium plan, I could have more people. So the logos is applied to me and I'm going to say bricks, elementor, and the Apple website sit in that project. Now you can still see all the websites. Okay. But if I was to go over here now and I says, right, I am going to filter on uh, logos like that. The logo ones are at the start. You can still see all the projects, but the logo ones are now at the start. So I can start filter on any items that are kind of relevant or important to me. You could have multiple projects, okay? Um, I mean, what you can do here goes beyond just like managing your workload. If you have the premium version, you can also have time entries as well. Obviously, you need premium to do this, but what if your client is on holiday? What if you want to say we need to define milestones? When are we getting the resources? When are we going to work on the logo, the header? When are we going to get sign off on the homepage? When will the client come back to you? The client's on holiday for two weeks. You're on holiday for 29 weeks. You can put all these milestones in so that you and the client and anybody else connected is fully aware of what needed to be done. Are you overdue? How many days have passed? Have you still got time to get something done? What are you waiting on someone for? But the really beauty about why I think Atarim is pretty damn good. If you're working on a website and your client gives you 21 things to do, you can show that you've done 21. It is forever present. It's never deleted. You can show when you did it. You can show what you did. You can show that you went above and beyond with like, you know, your monthly maintenance plan. You said you do three things for them, but you actually did 20 things for them. And this is how long it took to maybe justify extra income or an increase in their maintenance plan. But from the get-go, Atarim is an amazing website collaboration tool that if you're working on your own, this is going to make your life a million times easier and much more efficient. And if you're working in a team, you're trying to manage workload, who's doing what? What's overdue? Um, you told me to do X, but I can't remember what X was. I mean, look, let me just go over to my tasks. Do you remember when I was writing it? I took a screenshot. There is the screenshot. You can't miss the screenshot. It is there. I can even hit, by the way, you need the premium version to activate the timer. So if I now I'm going to start working on this task and I want to prove to my boss or whoever that I spent two hours on this or five minutes on it or whatever. So you start to understand how long does it normally take for him to compress an image? This is how you do it. And it is a great way of understanding workload, how long things take and justifying back to another party or someone else that this is what needs to be done. Atarim.io.
Go and sign up. It's free. Start collaborating on your websites. Make your life a lot easier.